Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Monday Motivation. Um, if you're seeing a double intro, it's because I had like a little error with the camera. Hopefully, um, this is a double intro and this is not the original intro. But um, so today's episode is about gratitude. It's about giving thanks. It's about kindness. It's about spreading kindness. And uh, you know, it, you know, this is Monday Motivation. So like at the end of the day, like even though I was just recording and I recorded like half an episode and um, it went to crap. Um, not, not just because of what I was saying because you know usually I don't know what the hell I'm talking about right but the fact that I had like a little SD card error and then all of a sudden like uh, my thing you know froze up and it's like what am I gonna do am I gonna give up or am I gonna continue so you already know what I'm doing I'm continuing we're doing this again so again kind of going back to you know um, the topic of today's uh, video which is kindness it's all about gratitude like you know, to me, I could sit here and complain like a little fucking bitch, you know, about the fact that you know, I got to start the video all over again and blah, blah, blah. Or I can just sit here and, and just think for one fucking minute, one second, and, uh, and realize that I should be thankful. The fact that I have this opportunity to be doing what I'm doing instead of pouting or being upset that I have to do it all over again. Um, I just do it all over again and I'm thankful that... I get to do it for myself because how many times are we stuck in a situation or a job or any kind of thing like that and you got to do it all over again anyway and you're gonna find you're fucking hating life as you're doing it and um, sure in that moment in, at that time you know moment in time you're thinking to yourself you know you should be thankful that you even have that job that you should be thankful and happy that you even have that opportunity but it's very very different when uh, you have total control which is you know again something that I'm always trying to help you guys with and trying to help you guys push you know hey hey how's it going <laughs> and uh, you know always being positive and, and kind and nice and, and all that good stuff because that's the thing when you're positive when you're put when you're po when you're pushing constant positive vibes when you're constantly pushing um, you know kindness and um, and all that good stuff then it, it comes to you you know full circle like everything else just like if you put a lot of negativity if you put a lot of shit into the world if you put a lot of crap into the world look how beauty look how beautiful this is i'll give you a little per first person perspective but anyways if you put a lot of negativity and horribleness and you treat people like shit and everything is crap i mean it's, uh, it's the same thing it's going to come back to you that's the world you're going to be living in but if you're constantly grateful, you're constantly happy, you're constantly trying to make things better, not just for you, but for everybody. If you're doing everything humanly possible in order to, you know, to make not just your life better, but other people's lives better, even if it's just a little bit, then, you know, you're doing, you know, you're, you're literally, you know, that's part of the secret. You're literally already halfway there. And that's the thing, you know, like you, you got, we got to all keep in mind that it's, it's not just about us. You know, it's like we're like this whole huge, you know, symbiotic uh, community here of uh, the world of humans and that, you know, we all got to help each other. So, you know, w when I make um, these videos, these Monday motivation videos, a lot of the major reason as to why I continue to make them now um, is literally that's not because of the views. It's because I impact so many people with these videos. Every time I make any one of these uh, videos, I impact just so many people. And uh, whether it's negative or positive or whatever it is, it's usually positive. And um, that alone is a major reason as to why, it's a major reason why I do these things. Because even if I'm just affecting one person, if I'm making one person's life better, I mean, I don't know who that one person could be and the impact that that one person could have on other people. Maybe, you know, I might just impact only one person positively with one of my videos and that person happens to be a professor or a teacher or someone of that ilk and all of a sudden because I made their day better, I made their situation better, then they're making other people's lives better. They're making other situations better. And it's all about the ripple effect. It's all about you know just taking control of uh, your universe and your world and not blaming anything on anyone so when you get to that point the whole gratitude um, part of everything the whole kindness part of everything it kind of it just comes with the territory and why does it come with the territory because again it's all about spreading positive vibes and being a, a good human and a good person and you know you might say to yourself out there well what about all the bad people you know, what all about all the people that do bad things and blah, blah, blah. It's like, don't worry about those people. We got to worry about you. And, and stop, stop downplaying yourself. 
You gotta stop downplaying yourself and the abilities that you have and what you can contribute to society, to the world, even again, even if it's just one person. And that's the thing, you know, that's the thing that we gotta all, you know, constantly be reminding ourselves of and reminding others of that we're all extremely important in this world, no matter what. And, uh, you know, it, it, once you start exuding, you know, kindness on a regular basis, if you're, if you're having a really, 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 really shitty day, um, by you being kind to others, by bringing smiles to other people's faces, despite how shitty your day, your life is, it makes your day better. Not, and on top of that, you're making other people's lives better. So it's like you're making your life better because you feel better, because you do good, you're doing good stuff. And even if it's just not being an asshole, you might have a really shitty day. Why do you gotta scream at the fucking Starbucks employee for you know, getting your order wrong? Instead of, you know, when they get your order wrong, you'd be like, hey, um, you know, you, um, whatever, just say, hey, look, you got my order wrong, but don't worry about it. I, I get it. I know you guys are busy. You're having a stressful day yourself. You know, it's one of those days. I'm having a bad day. That's probably why my order came wrong. But anyways, don't worry about it. Just please, whenever you get a chance, can you fix it? And by doing that, as opposed to, hey, this shit's fucking wrong, blah, blah, blah. This is awful. What are you doing? It's like a complete different dynamic. First of all, you're both calm. You know, when, when you when you do when you do it with kindness. Second of all, you probably save yourself um, from the guy spitting inside your second number. You know, your your second latte. Um, on top of that, you know what I mean? Like you're making that person's life better without even knowing that you're making their life better, and all that good stuff. And 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 you know, just it's like a ripple effect. It really is. It's like so. I mean, I can go on and on about the whole kindness thing, but I think it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, and um, I think you know we all know why most people take you know being mean or being an asshole or take that route instead of being nice it's because it's hard to be nice it's hard to always have a smile on your face it's hard to you know to do good and all that shit that's right yeah yeah all right <laughs> and um it's it's hard i get it you know what i mean it's not for everybody um i'm one of the lucky few where it's easy for me to be nice and kind that's uh, that's what i am now it's also it's it's also easy for me to, it's also pretty easy for me to be a fucking asshole but, you know, for the most part, I try to, you know, be a nice guy because I have that ability. And I understand that it's actually more powerful to be a nice guy and a good guy than it is to be a piece of shit asshole. You know, we all have the ability to be a fucking piece of shit, you know, but not everybody has the ability to be a really cool, nice guy, you know, and that's the thing. And it's really not that hard. A lot of these things are, you know, I don't got to give you like a blueprint as to how to be nice and how to be a good person and how to give gratitude and thanks. We all know how to do it. It's just like, are you gonna do it or not? And that's it, you know? And so a lot of times why we gotta make these videos is because unfortunately, we gotta remind people, we gotta give people incentive, you know, to be nice, which I think is kind of ridiculous, but that's the way society is right now. And, um, you know, just remind people why being nice or being a good person or being thankful or being grateful is actually, you know, a million times better than than doing the opposite, which is what a lot of people do. A lot of people are just not not thankful with what they got, with where they're at, with what they with, with, with all these things. And it's all about, you know, again, just gratitude. That you're one of the lucky few. You're one of the one in a million. You know, like it not only is it like a one in a million chance, like it, not only is it like really, really, really difficult for you out there to be born in the opportunity that you're born in as a human as a you know but again you know if you're watching this you're probably in the upper one one percent of all humanity no matter where you are even if you're at the bottom of the rung you're still at the top at the bottom of the rung so you know that whole complaining thing that whole idea of woe is me that whole you know like i, I can never subscribe to that shit because it's like what the fuck man you know what's wrong with you people you know do you not uh, do you not understand uh, or see what else is happening around the world with all other billions of people and um, you know just the fact that you have the opportunity to even complain you should be grateful for that you know there's a lot of people around the world that can't even complain you know again I, I talk about you know I don't have freedom or liberty in the US but again you know compared to a lot of places around the world so still a lot of freedom and liberty left all right and um, that's why I always urge everybody to fight for that instead of just letting it be but you know again how can you really do something like that unless um you know you're already grateful 
Oh look, it seems like there's an accident up ahead. You know, unless you're like actually really, really grateful. Well, well I'll, I'll zoom in when I get closer, but you know, again, you gotta be very, very grateful for your life, for your situation, for, you know, the ability to even uh, contemplate that, um, you, you know, like to, to even complain. I think why a lot of people that have so little, the reason that they don't complain, the reason that they're happy, the reason is because they don't have all this, uh, all, all this extra mumbo jumbo um, to confuse them. You know, most people, um, the simpler they are, the more we can uh, really go back to the simplicity of humanity. The more complicated we get, you know, we gotta do things like make videos to remind people to be nice. It's like, what the fuck, man? You know, you're not watching anyone in a village, you know, or anyone in any kind of environment like that, you know, having to go through something like that. You know, they just, they're already taught that. And then they gotta practice it every day or else. And that's the thing, you know, we've lost a lot of that. That's why we, I gotta make a lot of these videos, you know, because most people are, you know, we forgot that you can get more, you can get more, uh, more flies with honey than shit, right? It's something like that. I don't know. It's just better with honey than, than it is with shit. And that's, a, that's basically it. All right. So look, here we go. We got an accident. We got an, so again, just be grateful, you know, that that's all that happened. Nothing crazy. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see. Just taking the report. Look at that. There's no like 300 cops trying to direct traffic or anything like that. People just have to figure it out. I think they just closed off the street over there. Hold on. I think those are the bus drivers or the people in the accident. I think, yeah, there's people on the other side. But yeah, you know, just the bus hitting a, 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 a truck and nothing crazy. And that's it. And they're just redirecting traffic. Okay. <laughs> Oh look, and uh, they're, re they're redirecting traffic, right? Um, where I gotta, like down my street, so we're gonna see all this. So again, guys, you know, just be grateful, you know, that, you know, if you're like someone stuck in traffic like that, you know, just be grateful that you're not the one that got in the accident. And that you're only gonna be inconvenienced for a few minutes in traffic, as opposed to God knows how long um, in that stupid accident. Or if it was a really bad accident, how, you know, how much longer, or, you know, again, you know, be, be lucky that you're alive. That kind of shit. You know, I've seen plenty of accidents. Literally up in that corner where we're going right now, um, there was, um, I saw an accident not too long ago, uh, a few months back. Um, it was, again, a bus hit a van, and it was way more devastating than that. And I saw that one happen. That shit was fucking loud. She was loud. But, you know, again, I digress, guys. You know, just going back to, you know, being thankful. It's really not that hard. And the thing is that, you know, people think it's like, oh, it's super hard because I don't have this or I don't have that. And, you know, everything is so difficult for me. How can I be a good guy? By the way, great restaurant, great place to eat. Fucking amazing. So happy that this place is like, again, very grateful that this is a block from my house. But anyways, literally, it's called El Apa. El, you know, I can be in the middle of the street. But anyways, look. Oh, they're closed on Tuesdays. That's the only day they close. But look, that's the place. Check it out if you're in Merida, all right? Trust me, great fucking food. But anyways, all right, back on uh, what we were talking about. So, all right, let me show you what we got here. Um, but yeah, you know, just to go back to like the whole um, uh, gratitude, you know, just to let's, uh, you know, finish this up since we're getting close to home. It's like, um, again, guys, you know, we gotta be thankful and uh, we gotta re realize how lucky we already are. No matter how shit, you know, we actually have, you, you actually, look, even though you might be in the shittiest situation right now watching this video, you have so much control over your destiny and your future. You just do. Now, it's going to be a lot of hard work. It's going to be a lot of dedication, a lot of everything to get it done, but you can do it. You know what I mean? And that's the thing, you know, like there's a lot of people in the world that don't even have, you know, access to like a YouTube channel or even the ability or even the thought of, uh, of you know, like some sort of actual freedom or some sort of anything like that. So, again, guys, you know, just putting everything into perspective. You know, at the end of the day, I'm very lucky that I was born in the U.S. Sure, I got unlucky with a lot of things that happened, but I was very, very lucky that um, I was, I, you know, I had so many um, positive things on my side that allowed me to get to where I am and uh, and this is a continuation um, just showing you the traffic guys but you know I get for reals guys it's really not that hard it's really just not rocket science it really isn't I just be good be nice 
and um, if you just believe in simple simple things like karma if you believe in any kind of even if you don't believe in religion no matter what you believe in this is something that's very universal and very um, you know very easy to to adhere to and follow it's just like again what are you are you gonna do it or not and um, seriously I mean if you just if you want to help the world help any you know there's so many instances in which you could be constantly you know helping your fellow man constantly and there's no excuses for it at all there really is absolutely zero excuses for you not to be helping your fellow man and not being a really good human at all and um, and that's the thing for for you to um, out there you know be making excuses that you know what was me I can't do this I can't do that I can't whatever there's so many more things that you actually can do like for reals again even if it's just giving a um, dollar or 50 cents to to the local bum or the local guy in the street no matter again it's not you to judge you know how they got there they got there so help them out um, if you can help an old lady cross the street help an old lady you know with um, her groceries you know um, when when mom calls you or or grandma calls you to help her with the router don't give her a, a big old ah, you already know what happened uh, I got the heat to blame for the camera turning off you already know what the deal is it's hot and it's humid out here um, and that turned the camera off so honestly I already forgot what um, I was saying because I actually got a phone call right after the camera turned off and uh, you already know the deal I got sidetracked so I'm just gonna see if I can round the whole situation here up and um, put an end to this video and also I, I forgot I did record something earlier not sure if it came out or not if it did I'll put it as a bonus at the end of this video otherwise you know we're gonna wrap it up wrap it up but yeah guys again you know it's all about being grateful you know just a few minutes ago like a few seconds ago before I started filming I was like oh shit where did I put the camera I, I forgot where I put the camera and I just started you know being really like oh my god I, I couldn't find it anywhere where I put it and then I realized oh wait I put it in the freezer for a minute so I can uh, you know cool off and then you know I'm like oh I'm grateful that I have my camera I'm grateful that I'm in the position to have a camera and uh, think about you know the whole thing grateful that I got food you know whatever if you want to call this food um, great you know meat you know I'm um, grateful that I got all this abundance up here you know rum from Cuba tequila from Mexico honey from killer bees yeah it is honey from killer bees cool right um, chips bread beans eggs you know the whole well, speaking of which i gotta do some you know grocery shopping and i just need eggs that's all i need obviously i got a lot of everything see even beer and that's the thing you know it's all about being grateful and just um you know i yeah sure i want better things in my fridge better things on top of my fridge but again it's just understanding that well this is what i have now and i should be grateful that i have this now if i just go back of not too long ago all i had was this and peanut butter and jelly you know and i had to buy the cheapest peanut butter at least now i can buy like some actual real peanut butter made from real peanuts organic you know and it's just you know that's it it's, it's just being grateful and uh, keep putting your head down keep working and everything will make you know will happen it just will and um just spreading kindness you know r through ripple effects again just even if it's just saying hi to somebody making their day um, not blowing up on somebody not making you know not, not making a scene when you don't have to not throwing a temper tantrum you know in fact you know being master of your domain and if you are in the position where you want to like blow your stack well why don't you show some self-control and instead of making somebody else's life horrible maybe you can make their life a little better and in turn you know make yourself feel better over something that most likely neither one of you had any control over so it's, it's again it's all about spreading positive vibes and and being kind and being good and i understand that it's not easy to do it all the time but it's all like everything else is like with practice you know the better the more you the more you practice it the better and the easier it is to do and then eventually you get to the point where like i'm at where it's like even if i'm mad i i i i, I can't you know blow up and get angry and blow, you know just go through that whole thing like i used to it's like now it's like positive positive vibes being positive being nice being good that's like my my default now and then it's such a difference because no matter what the fuck happens shit happens all the time you know right now i'm recovering over a cold am i you know getting upset am i you know no i'm not doing any of these things i'm just like i'm dealing with it you know i, I go to the lime tree behind my house I, I get some limes i get some honey i make myself a little something something i i make i make myself feel better i go out to the sun i sweat it out you know i'm i, I feel grateful and happy that i have a strong immune system 
that I'm able to combat this no problem and so on and so forth and it's just you know keeping that alive you know whatever oh okay well if I'm sick now I'm not gonna get sick for a while and and so on and so forth you know like it, it, that's it it's really not that hard sure some people might find it obnoxious you know for someone to be this awesome happy positive you know good mood all the time well maybe those aren't the people you should be hanging around with maybe you should be hanging around people like yourself or like me or like whatever you know what I mean like where it's just constant positive vibes so you know maybe that's what you know some people have to do out there but again at the end of the day all these things i've already said it more than once during this episode it's not hard to be nice it's not hard to be grateful it's not hard to be you know any of these things that we you know it really isn't this is human nature it's just society has messed us up to the point where it's not normal you know it's not second nature to be nice it's actually second nature to be mean and you know like hungry and angry and mean and that's the thing it's trying to turn that around you know even if it's one person at a time if we can all turn that around and be more positive and happy and talk to each other and spread love and kindness instead of hate then i'm telling you guys we will you know that's the first step and that's like really i mean that's really what's going to get us to the next level and um yeah so that's monday motivation for today guys i mean honestly it's uh to me that's what helps me do what i do every single day being grateful being happy being in a good mood positive vibes the whole thing i used to be negative nancy all right many many moons ago all right and i changed it so can you so if Yan can cook so can you five satoshi to whoever can figure out who that is all right guys thank you so much for watching i want to give a big shout out to all my patrons i want to give a big shout out to all my supporters you know every single one of my um you know uh, contributors all of you guys, you know, here's Lambo. As you guys know that he's safe and sound. You know, he wants to say hi. Um, we're all very happy and thankful. Thank you so much for, you know, helping me with Lambo food. Or even if it's just a comment or a thumbs up, it doesn't matter. It helps a lot. And um, I love you guys. You guys are the best. So I hope this video was uh, helpful for you guys today. And um, I don't know if I'm, we're going to have some extra scenes at the end. Maybe not. It doesn't look like it. But if we do, well, I hope you enjoy that. And if not, I hope you enjoy the rest of your Monday and the rest of your week. And I hope this uh, kickstart, you know, your, your week, you know, in a very positive um, way. All right? Okay, guys. See you later. Alligators. Love you. Thanks for watching. See you guys manana for Cuba Adventure Tuesday. And then I'll see you Wednesday for the live stream. And I'll see you Thursday and Friday and Saturday and Sunday and Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Sunday and Monday. Whoever's in last place, whoever that person is, if there was a world chart ranking and Sally was dead last, she can talk. I don't know how to get people out of depression. I'm just trying to change people's perspective. Gratitude is my fuel. I think most people burn out because they're looking for money. I think people are depressed when they don't have things into context. They don't realize how lucky they have it. And two, they don't feel in control. When the game itself and the process and gratitude is the mix of your gasoline, you'll run forever. I've already won. D-Rock, this game's vigged. I already won. I figured myself out. I know what makes me happy. Nothing in the world makes me happier. Everybody is the happiest when they get to do what they want to be doing. When you get to do what you want to do, you've won. I think the problem is that people get to a place where they don't want to go backwards because they get fancy, right? They get accustomed to a certain lifestyle. They want certain things. When it's about getting a watch or buying a new home or getting a new pair of Yeezys, you're finished. And I will tell you the number one thing that scares the fuck out of me. <laughs> nice watches and Ferraris. And so I see a lot of people looking for quick highs. That is just not sustainable. Glass half empty is a terrible way to live life. This is full as fuck for me. I know exactly what to do with what's in there. I know exactly what the fuck to do with this and other people don't know what to do with a full fucking container. Entitlement, you're fucking entitled. If you ever in your life bought a $5 fucking coffee from Starbucks, you are fucking soft. Globally, in the 7.7 .7 billion people, you're fucking fancy, you're soft. There's 50 million people that came from dick shit and fucking made it. So what the fuck's your excuse? Both my parents were crackheads, and? Like, uh, I lost my job, and? My husband's beating me, 
and I'm not fucking saying these are small things. These are the hardest things in life. Here's my question. Life's about alternatives. What the fuck are you gonna do about it? Nobody has anything to complain about. Unless you're the worst human on earth. In the world rankings of humans, you're 7.7 billion. You live in a cage and you're a slave somewhere where nobody's looking. Because that's who that person is. Unless you're that person, stop complaining. My stuff is for the complainers who don't realize they have time to fix it. They just have to change their behavior. Can't complain about your weight if you didn't put in the work. You may be genetically disposition to not have as great of a body or be as healthy and that's just life and that's real. But I wasn't allowed to complain about my health at 37. I wasn't doing the right things. Or you can sit at home, play fucking 2K and blame the world for your shortcomings. Period. They don't wanna do that. Brother, people don't wanna work. You know why? It's easier to complain. Mentality. The religion, baby. Like you, like. But if you don't complain, then you, then you won. You could do it any way you want. Make a dollar a year, make it all the dollars in a year. You've won. It's not about that. Spend every minute with your kids. Spend no minutes with your kids. If you're happy and you don't complain, you've won.